As it stands, Aptera appears to stand at the vanguard of revolutionizing the American dream, a reimagined vision of mobility, energy independence, and sustainability. But what fuels this bold assertion? As Americans grapple with the weight of escalating fuel prices, the sobering reality of climate change, and the relentless search for sustainability in their lives, a new player emerges from the shadows of innovation. The Aptera Solar SEV, with its futuristic design and solar-powered promise, feels less like a car and more like a harbinger of transformation. Imagine a world where the sun itself fuels your daily journey, where the concept of fuel becomes a relic of the past, and where personal transportation is no longer tethered to the sprawling grid of centralized energy. But as we gaze into this future, two pressing questions arise. Can a single vehicle truly redefine America's relationship with energy? Why does this vehicle hold such transformative potential? And if so, at what cost do the entrenched systems we rely upon today? Let us get into the details. Before we dive in, show some love by giving this video a like, hitting that subscribe button, and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, sharing this video helps us reach more people who might enjoy it too. Aptera is gearing up to make a bold statement at the 2025 CES, Consumer Electronics Show, where innovation takes center stage. Known as a global platform for unveiling groundbreaking technologies, CES will set the stage for Aptera to showcase its solar SEV as a transformative force in sustainable mobility. With its futuristic design and integration of solar energy, Aptera plans to inspire the world by demonstrating how a single vehicle can reshape transportation, redefine energy consumption, and spark a new era of environmental responsibility. But in a tech-driven arena where the stakes are high and expectations even higher, will Aptera's vision stand out among the brightest innovations? And can it deliver on its promise to revolutionize not just vehicles, but the very fabric of modern life? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. The heart of Aptera's revolutionary promise lies in its unparalleled solar efficiency. Picture this, a sleek aerodynamic vehicle with a whisper light frame gliding through the streets, powered by sunlight. This isn't science fiction, but a reality shaped by Aptera's innovative integration of solar panels capable of generating up to 700 watts. Under optimal conditions, this translates to a daily range of up to 40 miles powered entirely by the sun, a distance that comfortably accommodates the commutes of 75% of Americans. Now imagine the impact if such a vehicle became the norm rather than the exception. Streets no longer clogged with the hum of fossil-fueled engines air clear to the choking haze of carbon emissions, households free from the perpetual rise and fall of gas prices. Yet, this vision isn't without its intricacies. The mathematics of Aptera's efficiency are as elegant as its design. Consuming a mere 100 watt-hours per mile, it stands as a testament to what is possible when engineering meets environmental stewardship. To put this in perspective, a conventional EV demands nearly three times this energy for every mile driven. But the true beauty lies in its implications for energy independence. Imagine millions of Americans no longer needing to plug into the grid each night, their vehicles sipping from the inexhaustible reservoir of the sun. This decentralization of energy not only alleviates strain on the grid but also redefines our relationship with power itself. Yet, as the Aptera liberates individuals, what becomes of the collective systems we've built to sustain our modern lives? Consider the energy grid, a sprawling web that connects every home, factory, and office in the nation. Seasonal stresses, particularly during blistering summer months, often push this system to its breaking point. Here, the Aptera's potential emerges as both a relief and a challenge. By generating its own energy, it reduces demand during peak hours. Scale this impact if just 5% of U.S. drivers adopted the Aptera and relied on solar for 30% of their charging, the reduction in annual grid demand would be akin to the output of a nuclear power plant. This is decentralization in action, power generation shifting from monolithic plants to millions of individual rooftops and vehicles. But decentralization, like all revolutions, comes with disruption. What happens to the existing infrastructure, the linemen, the coal plants, the utilities, as power becomes localized? The potential for Aptera extends beyond mere consumption to active contribution. Envision a world where vehicles don't just consume energy but give back. With vehicle-to-grid V2G technology, Aptera could serve as a mobile power bank, supplying electricity during outages or peak demands. Picture neighborhoods where during a blackout, Aptera is parked in driveways collectively power essential appliances. A silent fleet of solar guardians stabilizing the grid. Such a shift doesn't merely change the game, it rewrites the rules. Yet for all its promise, this raises another critical question. 
How do we transition without alienating the millions whose livelihoods depend on the status quo? Affordability, often the Achilles heel of innovation, becomes Aptera's unexpected strength. With a starting price of $25,900, it undercuts the average cost of a new car by nearly half. But the real savings come in ownership. Picture a decade of driving without the recurring sting of fuel costs, the infrequent visits to the mechanic thanks to its streamlined design, and the lighter burden on tires and brakes. Over 10 years, this could translate to savings of nearly $20,000 compared to a gasoline-powered car. For middle-class families, young professionals, and retirees alike, Aptera isn't just an alternative, it's an economic lifeline. Yet, in making transportation so accessible, does it risk overwhelming our roads and infrastructure with an influx of new vehicles? Beyond the personal ledger, the environmental calculus of Aptera paints an equally compelling picture. Transportation, a sector responsible for nearly 30% of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions, stands at the precipice of change. If 8 million Americans swap their gas guzzlers for Apteras, the reduction in CO2 emissions would rival the yearly output of several coal plants. But the ripple effects extend even further. Aptera's lightweight composite materials and efficient manufacturing processes set new benchmarks for sustainability in production. This isn't just about driving greener, it's about building a greener world. Yet with every step forward, there's a shadow. How do we ensure that the rush to adopt such technologies doesn't leave behind those who cannot afford even the lower costs of innovation? In practical terms, the Aptera represents more than an economic or environmental shift. It's a reimagining of mobility itself. Picture a rural family in the heartland, miles from the nearest charging station, who now find freedom in the sun's rays. Imagine urban dwellers freed from the tyranny of crowded public chargers, their Aptera quietly replenishing itself as it sits parked on a city street. Consider the resilience this brings during disasters. When hurricanes down power lines or wildfires isolate communities, a vehicle that charges itself could mean the difference between safety and peril. Yet this independence also introduces a paradox. As we untether from traditional systems, do we risk fragmenting the collective fabric that binds us? The Aptera Solar SEV then is not merely a vehicle, but a mirror reflecting the complexities of progress. It challenges us to reconsider not just how we move, but why and at what cost. It's a promise of freedom from fuel costs, from emissions, from grid dependency, wrapped in the sobering reality of systemic change. For every mile driven by sunlight, there's a question that demands our attention. Can we embrace the future without abandoning the present? And as we step into this solar-powered horizon, are we prepared for the shadows it might cast? And that's a wrap for now. We're so glad you stuck with us to the end. If you've enjoyed the effort behind these videos, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and sharing your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest uploads. Your support truly makes a difference. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.